Welcome to my channel, Notorious Crafts. In this video, I will show you how you can make these miniature chocolate bears from polymer clay. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I make all things miniature. Here are the supplies that you will need. You'll need some brown clay, and I use this one from Sculpey that's called chocolate, which is perfect to make miniature chocolates. I have some toothpicks on the side, and then I also have my glass mat that is perfect for any kind of clay making. And then I have these silicone molds in bear shapes, and they come in three different sizes, and there's two of each size. They are just so adorable. They're gonna be perfect to make clay chocolates. And then this is the back of the bear. I did have to buy this one separately. It doesn't come in a set, and I'll put links down below in the description. All right, let's open up these molds and get a better look at them. One of the first things that when you do when you get brand new molds is to wash them with some warm soap and water. And that way just remove any kind of coating that could be on the silicone and also any dust specks. I did notice a few dust specks on these molds, so I'll just wash them really quickly to remove those. I really like using silicone molds for polymer clay since the silicone is flexible and it's really easy to get the clay out. You can also bake your polymer clay inside of the molds and the silicone will be fine. Getting a closer look at these bears, they're so cute. The molds have a lot more detail than I thought they would. I can't wait to see how the chocolate will turn out. Next, it's time to warm up the clay. I always put on some gloves when working with polymer clay it ends up drying out my hands and some of the color ends up transferring to my fingers and I can't get it out too easily. So I usually prefer working with some gloves. It's important to warm up the clay so that it'll fit into the mold much more easier. And you can do that very easily just by rubbing it in between your fingers. The heat from your body will help warm up the clay. So I just play around with it for a few minutes until it gets to a much softer consistency. Now it is time to start getting the polymer clay into the silicone mold. One tip when having silicone molds with some very tiny detail is to break up the polymer clay into tiny pieces and fill up those little tiny detail sections first. If you try to put in a large chunk of clay, it might not go into all those little tiny holes. Putting in the polymer clay piece by small piece at a time it does take a lot longer but in the end you'll end up with a much better result and all the details will end up coming out perfectly and this is why it's always handy to have a toothpick or just something with a very fine tip to help you with that one other thing that i do to get the clay to fill every nook and cranny is to use my toothpick to just push it down all the way in onto those tight corners and then later i'll smooth it out but i'll flip it over to the other side and just make sure that there are no air pockets and if there are i'll just continue pushing the clay down until there aren't any more air pockets left now that the front mold is filled out i'm going to move on to the back of the bear so i'm going to grab the other mold and then do the same process to start filling out the mold with the clay and the back of the bear doesn't have as much detail as the front so i'm going to use much bigger pieces of clay and just start pushing them down into the mold to attach the front and the back side of the bears i'm going to score some lines into the wet clay and then i'm just going to press them into each other hopefully that works i haven't tried this method before i've never had to put two molds together so hopefully this works so i'm just going to press this into the other bear and that's also why having the scoring on the back of each side will help keep them together all right it looks like they are attached together and i'm going to very gently try to take it out of the mold wow that actually turned out really nice i'm really impressed with it there is a little bit of a line where they just don't meet perfectly so i'm going to use my toothpick to try to smooth them out but the toothpick isn't working too well so i ended up grabbing this tool with a silicone tip and that is much better for smoothing out that line so that it looks more seamless although it is chocolate so sometimes chocolate bears do have that line in the middle where they are joined together you want to be very careful when working with 
the wet clay since it's not baked or hardened yet and you want to be careful not to leave any of your fingerprints in it. And now I'm going to repeat the same exact process with the second bear. I'm going to score some lines in it and then just put the mold on top of one another and attach it that way. And this time I squeezed them a little bit harder into each other, so hopefully that worked out nicely. But I noticed that there's some clay that went over the edges, so I'm just going to use my toothpick to clean up the extra clay and then remove the bear. For the second bear, I tried smoothing out the line while the bear was inside of the mold. I'm not sure if that'll work out better, but I'm just putting the silicone tool into the very edge to try to smooth out the seam between the back and the front pieces. So while I was trying to take the bear out, my camera stand ended up falling and I ended up creating an indent on the back of the bear's head. So hopefully it's not too noticeable. I'm sorry, poor little chocolate bear, but at least it's in the back so you can't see it too much. And now it'll be time to put the bears in the oven and get them baked so that they'll be hardened. And here they are fully baked and hardened. I also ended up making a smaller bear while I was waiting for the other bears to bake. But look at how detailed they are. I love how this turned out. Even the back turned out really nice. I like how they have a little tail and back. They look like real chocolate bears. I am always so impressed with what you can make with silicone molds. Just the detail of their face is so amazing. It is just so tiny and that I was able to use polymer clay to make these adorable little bears. As always, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you guys in the next video.